intermittent fasting is pretty popular. Um, it comes and goes actually in waves where people are really interested in it and then it just kind of disappears. There are no secrets or magic around intermittent fasting. A lot of people will try to say that it has hormonal benefits and a few other things, but really all we're doing is looking to schedule our meal timing, not around muscle building, but around fat loss and sticking to our total you know, macros or calorie targets every day in a more uh, comfortable way. So intermittent fasting is good for someone who is on low calories. I'm talking like 1200 calories, you know, 1500 calories, anything like that, or for a male, Maybe you're only consuming 2,000 calories. You know, you're in a deep fat loss phase right now. Maybe if, maybe you're having more. I don't know. You might be very active and you're on 2,500 calories and you're still very hungry. You could take an approach where you don't have breakfast, you don't have a mid-morning meal, and you kind of only eat between a certain window. Maybe it's 2 p.m. till 8 p.m. And you have to get all those calories into your day in that allotted period of time, which is going to result in more fullness in that period of time. And when you're not eating, hopefully you're not thinking about food and you're gonna stick, stick to your diet and stay on track. So intermittent fasting is a great tool to utilize when calories do come down um, and you wanna to stick to your calorie target. I find that if food isn't consumed for a long period of time, hunger tends to go down. But as soon as food is consumed, hunger starts to go up and then we crave everything, we wanna snack on everything. So if we have a low calorie intake, and we're having you know, a big breakfast, we've got not many calories left over for the day, but hunger's up, that could result in a bad outcome where you're eating more, you're binging or anything like that. So that is when intermittent fasting is you know, a good idea. And another, another consideration is if you have social events, let's say that you're going to a wedding, you still wanna to stick to your you know, allocated calorie targets and your macros, you could do intermittent fasting where you don't eat all morning or uh, you know, mid morning or lunch as well. And maybe you just start eating at around 2 p.m. Um, and that's gonna allow you to maybe guesstimate the, the calories that you're consuming and uh, you know, lower the risk of over consuming total calories, which could affect your fat loss progress, right? So, you know, when you have when I have social occasions, sometimes I will utilize intermittent fasting. Won't have breakfast, I'll save those calories for later, and uh, you know, I'll still track my macros in the evening, uh, but it's just so much easier to stay within your goals because you accounted for that. Uh, one other thing I'll add to that is that you could actually just wake up, if you're using MyFitnessPal to track your food intake every day, you could wake up and track in the food that you plan to eat anyways. Maybe you're making a homemade pizza, maybe you're going to Nando's or to Grilled or something like that. You can track that stuff in and you're going to know straight away how many calories, how much protein, carbs and fats are left over for the day. And you can break that up into maybe two or three meals if you can. Um, you know, and eat them whenever you choose, knowing that you've already allocated for the calories that will be, you know, saved for that uh, that fun meal. And uh, you know, that's pretty much it when it comes to intermittent fasting. Nice and simple. You know, it, it's it's a great tool that can be utilized towards fat loss to keep you on track within your caloric targets.